right, you guys. Okay, I am so excited. If you can't tell, I feel like I'm like extra pumped up today. I don't know what it is. You know what it is? Favorites videos are always so fun for me because I'm talking about things that excite me, things that make me really happy. So I've got so many beauty products to show you guys. Um, some clothing, a few jewelry items, things that I am just super, super loving this month. A huge, huge update on something. Um, we'll get into that. So yeah, I feel like we're kind of like creeping into fall. As I said in September, many times, like I always, you know, I start kind of like dabbling, dabbling in fall, right? Like a few little videos here and there on things. I posted that huge fall fashion video. I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm gonna do so much more of that coming up this month. But where I live, it is still hot as you know what. It's like in the 80s and the 90s. Um, hence the little update I'm about to share with you guys. Okay, we'll talk. I love to just like, mm, like max out my front porch. Like that's where I really like to decorate. And um, when it's this hot, I gotta really kind of wait till the last minute to buy like my mums and do all that. So we are going to talk fall decor in my next video. So don't miss my next upload. It's gonna be really, really fun. I'll share with you guys um, some things that I've recently purchased for my house for fall, and I will share with you my fall decor. But, um, but I'm so excited, I can't wait any longer. So we'll do that next, so excited about that. So y'all, let's talk about my big update. Let's talk about the Kopari Coconut Oil, the natural deodorant, let's talk. You guys know that I have talked about Kopari products Talked about this coconut melt for a very long time. I use this on Olivia, my daughter's now um, three and a half. I used this on her when she was a baby, on her skin. I still do, it's one of the main things that I use on her. She's very sensitive. I tried something new, which we'll talk about. But y'all know that the saga has been very real for me with natural deodorant. I purchased this when it very first came out, the Kopari Coconut Oil Deodorant. And I gave you guys a good review on it after I'd been using it a little while. Now I've been using it for several months and I really wanna give you guys an update and um, kind of tell you guys something really cool that happened. So the ingredients are amazing. There are tons and tons of reviews. I will link to it below. I've got a discount code for you guys as well where you can save 25%. No aluminum, vegan. We all know that yucky stuff is in a lot of products that we use, especially deodorant. You know, I always say I use what works. I am not the ingredient police, okay? And not everything that I use is like, wow, perfect ingredients. But for years I've always said, if I can use a good natural deodorant that, you know, that's something I use every single day on my skin. If I can use something that really works, that has great ingredients, like why not? It's wonderful. And you know, over the years, certain ones that I've tried have let me down in certain ways. You know, they might be effective for a little while, but I have to apply them 17 times a day, or the finish is really goopy, or the finish is really sticky and it just doesn't work. So, finding that perfect balance has been tricky, and this is like, I think they kind of addressed all of those issues. Yeah, this has been a company that, I mean, I've talked about a lot of their products, right? I just am a huge fan of this brand. And so when they reached out to me recently about doing a possible collaboration for this deodorant, I was like, yes, because I need to give you guys an update. They did send me a couple of the deodorants, uh, but as you guys know, you know, I've purchased this myself before. Aluminum free, it's a natural deodorant that works. Now there are natural deodorants that work, but like I said, there's always downfalls. They either get all over my clothes, they're very white, and thick and pasty. Um, I have to constantly reapply them throughout the day or they're just very sticky or they get goopy. This one is so unique. You can see it's almost like a gel. Because of that, my experience is that it does not get all over my clothes in a thick and pasty way. It goes on almost like a serum. It's like clean, beautiful. The scent is out of this world heavenly. I told you guys this before. The scent is unlike anything. I thought, okay, coconut oil. It's gonna smell like straight up coconut oil, which is what this is. I mean, if you've smelled like real, real coconut oil, that's what this is. That's what it smells like. This has that ingredient in it, but it's also the most beautiful, like, very just, ah, oh, it's just very like intriguing. Brad loves this scent. If it was like a perfume, I would just like spray it all over me. So good, and this we'll talk about because that kind of like ties into it. Over a thousand five star reviews, and it's just growing, and I'm sure it's even more than that. So I love it so much, you guys. Like, try to figure out how to just like wipe it on my armpit now. I'm trying to figure out like how to wipe it on my clothes to show you. It just doesn't get on your clothes. So I love that a company has come out with a deodorant that works, that addresses all those issues, that feels good, that that works well. That it's just so wonderful. Um, and I love that they're kind of like spreading the word and they have this whole like hashtag the truth stinks campaign Which is true, you know, like I said, we use all of this 
deodorant every day that does have bad ingredients and we feel kind of locked in because it's like, well, you got, you do, we don't want to stink. I think a lot of people are still kind of, you know, weary about the whole fact that a natural deodorant can work and this is proof of that. So even better, at the link below, if you use my code, you can save 25% on the deodorant if you want to try it. Uh, you can do a deodorant subscription too and save 25% off your subscription, which is a really good deal. So use the code TiffanyD25. I'll put all that info below. You guys know I only recommend good stuff that I believe in. Try this. You will not be disappointed. You will love it. This this okay well should i talk about my clothes should i talk about mm, i don't know we'll talk about fashion in just a second but this was something that i talked about in my recent video i have been using it a lot this month and i knew all month i was like okay i cannot wait to talk about this i know this is going to be my favorites it is the Too faced sugar peach wet and dry eye and face palette y'all or face and eye palette okay here we go it's the most insane highlight wet or dry is kind of the idea. Now, what's funny about it is I don't like saturate the products. I don't get them wet and like, you know, make them into a paste or anything. That's not what it's about. Use a damp beauty blender. This is your friend. Just literally dab it in the product. The powder is very powdery. However, you can use it dry and it's just like any other regular dry product, but it comes off. You saw I just barely bounced it and it just works like a dream. I'm gonna end up with way too much, but what I do, I mean, can you see this? It's it's insane. This side does, gosh, that side's pretty crazy too. I just bounce it on to the areas where I'm putting it and it's like perfectly blended. It's gorgeous. I put a little on my brow bone. What I also like to do, now I do have on eyeshadow today, um, but what I like to do is I put a little bit also of this peach honey and you can just bounce it right onto your eyelid. It's just so easy, y'all, and the colors are beautiful. Um, something else that I really love to do is I just take the end of my beauty blender and bounce it literally in this peach pop color and put it right on my cheeks. It's the most beautiful blush. And the finish of these is amazing. Um, it's not too shiny. It's not too chalky. It just looks like skin, and it's really, really beautiful. And... Um, I have just absolutely been obsessed. So check this out. This is hands down the best powder highlight I have tried in a long time. I've tried so many. I love so many of them. I've got some great favorites, but this one, the payoff, the staying power, the application could not be easier. It is beautiful. So, and it smells like peaches. So, oh my gosh, check this out. Hands down must have. So I purchased this earlier in the month. It's a newer product, the Coconut Crush Scrub by Kopari. And it's the exact smell of the deodorant, maybe a little sweeter. Before I even knew anything about this collaboration, this was in my shower, I had been using it, and I was like, I cannot wait to talk about it. So um, this is gonna be a favorite anyways, but holy goodness, you guys, my eyelash, I don't know, it's like catching. Oh. oh, you guys, it's so good. So this is the best scrub I've ever tried. The smell is the best, I don't know what it is, it's the deodorant scent, it's this scent. It is the best scent of any beauty product, I said that. A long time ago when I tried the deodorant, I was floored by the scent. And when I get out of the shower, like, my skin still smells like this. I took a shower this morning. And it leaves behind, like, such a good, like, moisturized, like, coconut oil, like, moisturized, it's, like, slick feeling. Something really important, too, that I want to mention when you start a natural deodorant. You want to get your armpits really clean. You want to really get off all the old stuff. Um, and I do this all the time anyways. When I'm in the shower, I like to kind of like use a little scrub or something. And I feel like this has kept my armpits in good shape. It's kept them like really soft and smooth. But what I did the other day is I took a little bit of this and I just put a little bit like in my armpits. And um, I felt like it was really nice. And then when I put my deodorant on, I felt like it was kind of like, oh, it was kind of like a little reset. I don't know. So the scrub works really well there. And um, the packaging's really nice. I love how they have like this little you know, cover, it's almost like a little silicone cover. Not in the product though, but um, really cool. So yeah, I love, I love this brand. Sulfate free, silicone free, cruelty free. It's good stuff, so love that. So you guys, I'm huge on taking care of my skin. I'm huge on using good skincare products. Uh, okay y'all, so here's the thing. Like I said, I take really good care of my skin. I stay out of the sun. My eye area is my area that I do try to pay the most attention to. I don't know what it is about my skin. I don't know if I'm just like not super, I mean, I feel like I'm hugely expressive, but I never get any lines in my forehead. I'm just not like, I don't know, when I lift my, I can do that, but that just doesn't feel right. I just don't do that ever. 
I don't know. But I don't have like a lot of lines there or whatever, but where I do kind of have issues is around my eyes. Now I know you're looking at it and you're like, what? Like, granted, like we're not all up in my business right now. And y'all, I have found kind of a magic little concoction where I feel like my eye area looks 10 times better now than it did five years ago. It's nuts. So I use my Clinique Moisturizer, the Even Better SPF 15. It's oil-free. I don't use it up under my eyes, but I get it just a little, you know, every day. That's the best moisturizer, y'all. I will link it below. It's, it's very, very good daytime moisturizer. But my eye area, it can look a little dry. It can look a little tired. And I found some good, like, under eye little gel things or patches. This one I feel is kind of a little more heavy duty. So it's the Thalgo Hyaluronique um, Eye Patch Masks. And I did talk about these in a few recent videos. I feel. I feel like I've at least talked about them once. But anyways, you just leave them on 10 minutes. It's not fussy. I can just do this as I'm getting ready. It's not a giant gel one that's gonna like creep down my face. Some of those gel ones are a little heavy. This is like a thin piece of like cloth. And when you put it on, it feels kind of like it sticks and it tightens, it smooths. You can like see your little eye bags through it and then you can kind of like see them flattening out. It kind of like, I don't wanna say drains that puffiness, but it kind of like presses in like that. I don't know, like when it dries. It's, it's a very weird feel. It fills in all of my little like dryness. I feel like it kind of plumps this area and makes it just look smoother. I'm obsessed with this. It makes my eyes look so fresh and I use it before I get ready in the morning. Like when I'm, when I get out of the shower, I just put one on. I'm doing everything else, you know, like, you know, drying my hair, doing whatever. 10 minutes, you take it off and it's just perfect. So try these, so, so, so perfect. And then I've got a couple of products that I really love. And you guys have seen me talk about these before, but the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Gel. It's clean feeling. I put it on like, so right after I take that off, you have a little bit of serum. You know, I don't use those every day. Maybe just a couple times a week or like if I'm really gonna get ready and I wanna look nice or something or extra special or, you know, you want your eyes to look extra good. This, I use the tiny, I mean, it is like, it's gonna last me the rest of my life. No, I'm kidding. It's pretty expensive, so that's good. But look, I like, I barely even pumped it, right? Um, just the tiniest bit. It's so clean feeling, but I just press it into my under eye area and it's just beautiful. It makes a very smooth, clean, but like moisturized canvas for applying my makeup. It's so good. I'll talk about my nighttime eye cream, which this stuff is a miracle. I feel like this is probably, because this is the most long-term thing that I've used out of all of this, this actually works. It's actually helped this area right here. It's kept it from looking crepey. It has helped my little fine lines, which throughout the day, that's what forms on me. Like, I just notice, you know, that area. You know, I'm 34. I'm not 24. 21. I'm 34 years old. So, like, I, I am trying to do these things, you know, to kind of help that area. So, this is what I use at night. It's the Colleen Rothschild Retinol Supreme Eye Serum. You guys, this stuff is a miracle. I religiously use this every single night. Again, another one of those little pumps. I don't want to waste any of it, but you just barely use a tiny bit of it. Um, it's so rich, and the formula itself is so, like, physically, like, satisfying because it's so moisturizing, but the retinol in it, I actually feel has done some 100%, like, long-term, like, great effects for my eye area. So, I would 100% recommend this. Retinol is, like, the active ingredient in it, so you do need to use it at night. And then, my eye concealer. And especially going into, like, the fall, the winter, the drier months, I do feel... Oh, eyelash. I do feel like it's something that you need to pay attention to. And these are my real eyelashes today, you know? So my real lashes are catching. Lately I've had my eyelashes are like growing very weirdly. Okay. This concealer also makes a huge difference. I love an eye concealer that has some sort of anti wrinkle, anti puffiness treatment, like a two in one. So this is the By Terry Terribly Densilis. This is my second one. I just purchased a brand new one. My other one was like bone dry. I will show it to you. I have a great empties video coming up and kind of like regrets and stuff, but it's anti wrinkle, anti dark circle and eye bag serum corrector. It's so good. And the finish is amazing. It's expensive. I've tried other things. There's just nothing compares. I put it all over my under eye. I put a little bit even on my, oh, I just hit it on my eyelash, on my brow balm. Take my beauty blender before it has all the like, you know, highlighter and stuff on it. And I just blended it. It could not be easier. It's the most beautiful concealer. Absolutely no creasing, no settling. It just makes your eye area look really young. So I would say, you look at this like a skincare and a makeup product in one. It is a bit more expensive, but I would say this is 100% a product that I say is worth a splurge. I use a definite mix of high and low. I use things that are high end that I really like. Um, that sh Could I find a cheaper alternative? Maybe. 
but like some things I just think are worth it. This, I cannot find a cheaper alternative. Nothing compares to this. I love it so much. So definitely try that out. All right, you guys, so quickly let me tell you a few little fashion-y things. These earrings I have been obsessed with. They're those little druzy studs that I just, I wear in a lot of videos, but they're just very like sparkly and pretty. Um, Today, you'll see my outfit in a second. I'm wearing something a little like sportier, so I didn't want to go on like full like hoops, you know, like with my tennis shoes and my leggings and it's just a little much. Okay, so this is nothing huge or nothing like wow because I wear these t-shirts all the time. Probably hence why they're in my favorites. They're so good, they're affordable. I plan on wearing these so much this fall, throw a jacket over it, I mean, I just, I love them so much. Little tie front t-shirts, um, you know, just, they're, they're just great. And then I'm wearing my Spanx leggings, which y'all know I'm obsessed with. I talk about these so much. And y'all, my pink Adidas, these are like the most perfect, like bubblegum pink, adorable shoes. That's what I'm gonna be putting on with these when I head out the door. These are so comfy. Uh, definitely go down in full size. Um, love them so much. I hope that this color is still available, but even if not, this particular style is so comfy. So um, I kind of like this just easy vibe. So thank you so much for hanging with me today, you guys. I so enjoyed talking to you and sharing with you all of my like loves from this month. So definitely take advantage of the 25% off of the deodorant. Oh, I live for this deodorant. This is my deodorant. Like I, I don't change deodorants when I find something that works. So huge thanks to Kopari for sponsoring and for working with me today. I just, I love working with companies that I love and um, huge thanks for that code as well. Again, like I said, take advantage of that code. We'll link below to Kopari where you can use it. Tiffany D25, 25% off of the deodorant itself and off of a deodorant subscription. Keep it coming, keep it coming. So do not miss my next video, you guys. October, right? I cannot believe it. We are, we're getting there. We are fully gonna be immersed in fall before you know it um, by my next video. Because when you post the fall decor video, it's, it's official. So <laughs> thank you guys, love you so much, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, y'all. For real, I mean, for real, y'all, like if you could if you could smell, if you could smell my pits right now. No, but really, I would let you. It's, it's good. It's that good.